my name is Quinn and welcome to my channel and another episode of Cheap versus Expensive where I compare two of the same products at different price ranges and let you know my thoughts and opinions regarding each one. So in this video, I am going to be reviewing Hairspray. So on the low end, we have the Garnier Fertis Full Control 24 Hour Anti-Humidity Hairspray and on the high end, we have the L'Oreal Paris Elnet Satin Hairspray. Now technically, this isn't a luxury brand, um, L'Oreal Paris is a drugstore brand, however Ever. This is a cult favorite. It's used by celebrity hairstylists on celebrities and I personally have been using this for a few years now and have absolutely loved it. The price range is anywhere between $12 to $17 and so for a hairspray this is a lot pricier than just a regular drugstore hairspray. So that's why I chose the L'Oreal El Net for the expensive option for this video. So to compare these two hairsprays I'm pretty much just going to curl my hair then I'm going to spray one side of my hair with the L'Oreal El Net hairspray and the other side with the Garnier Fritis full control hairspray. And then I will check back in a few hours to see how well these hairsprays hold my curls and see which one does a better job. So as far as spray or mist for the hairsprays, they're both very fine and they distribute the products very evenly. I have a little test here. I have these pieces of paper. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not, but let's give it a try. I'm going to go ahead and spray these papers with the hairsprays and see what type of uh, distribution the sprays have and see which one has more of like a fine mist and which one has more of like larger particles because the larger particles are going to give you like harder hair just because it's spraying the hairspray into globs as opposed to like very fine mist. To be honest, I can't tell. <laughs> I thought it was going to be more of like a mist. Maybe if I hold the cans a little bit further away. Okay, so let's try this again. I'm going to hold the cans like 10 to 12 inches away. Okay, that's what you're supposed to do. So I'm going to hold the cans 12 inches away to see if I can get a better distribution pattern. And it is pretty even, it's pretty fine. There's not like large globs of hairspray on there. See if we can kind of do the same thing for the L'Oreal. Again, for a hairspray, this is pretty fine of a distribution pattern. You don't see huge globs of hairspray. So I guess the purpose of these pieces of paper is just pretty much show you guys the distribution pattern of the sprays and how fine the mists are for each one of these. I unfortunately am not able to see quick enough um, after I spray these and compare them to see which one has a finer mist or more even mist. So I apologize for that. Okay, so as far as smell goes, the Garnier Fertise has a very light, kind of almost fruity smell. Um, I actually really like the smell of this. It doesn't smell bad at all. And then <laughs> the L'Oreal El Net hairspray has a little bit of a stronger smell. It smells more like hairspray, like the classic hairspray if you think of it. It's not super pleasant. Like this one almost kind of is like perfumey. This one just smells like a hairspray. And this is actually supposed to be unscented. I didn't, I completely goofed and I like forgot. But there is definitely a smell. But maybe because it is unscented, there's more of that kind of classic hairspray smell to it as opposed to this. This probably has like some type of fragrance in it. So that's kind of another thing to consider also. I didn't really, I didn't really consider that when I was initially doing the reviews for these two separately. However, with both of these, the scent goes away really quickly and it's not like a lingering smell that stays in your hair. So both of these hairsprays are anti-humidity. Uh, the L'Oreal El Net is an extra stronghold and the Garnier Fruities is an ultra stronghold, which I pretty much kind of understand as the same thing. <laughs> On the description for the L'Oreal El Net, it promises an ultra fine mist that leaves hair feeling clean with a soft shiny finish and satin touch. So strong, it's cold last all day. So fine, it disappears at the stroke of a brush. And the Garnier Fertis description says it's an ultra strong hairspray that provides the hold you need and the natural, healthy looking movement you want. Your style stays touchable all day long, even in extreme humidity. It's a strong yet flexible formula infused with bamboo extract. It keeps you in control of yourself for 24 hours. So what I'm getting from these are, it's supposed to give you a strong hold with like 
flexibility so it's not supposed to feel like there's a ton of hairspray in your hair it's not crisp it's not hard which is what I look for in a hairspray and I think that's kind of why I chose these two just because they kind of um, are comparable to one another to curl my hair for this video I will be using the Dyson Airwrap I feel like Dyson Airwrap curls don't hold as well as regular curling iron curls and so I figured that would be a nice challenge for both of these hairsprays so this is the 1.2 inch barrel today I am using the beach waves technique and if you're interested in finding out more information about the Dyson Airwrap or how I curl my hair or style my hair with the Dyson Airwrap. I have a whole series for the Dyson Airwrap on my channel. For this video, I'm not going to film the curling process, but if you're interested in how I get these curls, I'll put the link in the description below or I'll put it in a card up here. All right, I will be back in a little bit. All right, so I just got done curling my hair. So this is a lot tighter of curls than I would normally curl my hair, but I wanted to give a little bit of extra room for my hair to fall. So you guys can actually see just how well these hairsprays are able to hold my curls. So on this side, I'm going to spray the Garnier Fructis hairspray, and then on this side, I'm going to spray the L'Oreal El Net hairspray. gonna give it a couple minutes to dry before I kind of let you guys know the difference and how they both feel okay so right after spraying both the hairsprays onto my hair they both feel pretty much the same I'm not getting too much of a crunchy feeling I will note that with the L'Oreal El Net in my initial review I think what happened was I had the hairspray a little bit too close to my hair so it was kind of coming out in a stream so that was why um, my initial review my hair felt a lot crunchier but because of that I held this kind of you know a little bit further away and I can definitely tell a difference it doesn't feel as hard so I think that is going to be the most important thing when you're applying both of these hairsprays to make sure that you stick with the directions and hold the can about 12 inches away from your hair so that it actually creates that mist so you're not getting too much product at one time. Overall, I'm really happy with both of these. There is actually a decent amount of hairspray on both sides in my hair and it, my hair still has a lot of flexibility. It feels pretty soft still and it doesn't really feel like there's that much product in my hair, which I like. So I'm very curious to see how both of these will hold up throughout the day, but I will check back with you guys here in a few hours and I give you my thoughts and opinions and uh, we'll go from there. All right guys, so it's been nine, nine and a half hours since I initially curled my hair and sprayed both sides with hairspray. And here is what my hair looks like. So prior to coming back and doing this update, I've honestly been sitting in front of the mirror trying to figure out which side of my hair um, held the curls better. And quite frankly, I can't tell a difference. I feel like both sides are pretty even. Um, so both hairsprays, the Garnier Fructis and the L'Oreal Paris, held the curls really well. Overall, the curls did loosen a little bit, but considering it's been nine hours, it's honestly held my curls really really well if one of my girlfriends were to call me up and invite me to go out tonight I would feel comfortable leaving and having my hair like this and not having to touch it up or anything feeling my hair right now I wouldn't have guessed there's any hairspray in it uh, there's no crunchy feeling there's no hardness um, so both hairsprays did a great job you know keeping the flexibility of my hair while still doing a great job holding the curl and the style so that's one thing I really really like about both hairsprays. As far as scent goes, I know that I mentioned the scents right when I sprayed my hair with both of these and um, yeah, there's really not a strong scent that's coming from my hair. It smells very subtle. I also love how bouncy these curls are. I can for the most part run my fingers through my hair on both sides. It's a little tangled but it's not like there's hairspray in it where it's preventing me from combing out my hair. There's also no residue in my hair from either hairsprays, so I think both of them are really comparable and both of them I feel like are very, very good hairsprays. And I don't think one was better than the other. So with that said, I feel like the winner of this cheap versus expensive comparison is the Garnier Fructis Full Control Hairspray. I am so surprised by this considering that I've been using this for years and uh, have been paying like anywhere between 12 to 15 dollars each time we buy this and this was only three dollars and 34 cents so that kind of blew my mind a little bit going into this 
I think I was slightly biased towards this because I feel like we've just invested so much in this and I feel like it's been, you know, good to us for so long, but had I known that I could have gotten these same results for so much cheaper, I think I would have gotten this a long time ago. So I'm really surprised with the turnout of this cheap versus expensive comparison, but I'm pretty excited. I'm excited to use this more and see if I'll continue to like using this as much as I've been loving this. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this cheap versus expensive comparison video. Have you guys tried either one of these hairsprays or do you have a favorite hairspray that you always go to? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Please give this video a like if you guys enjoyed it. And if you haven't done so already, please be sure to click on that subscribe button right there and click that bell notification so you can see more videos like this. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.